Excuse me, hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Legends of Isenwald. And the last time we left off, we defeated um, one of our vassals, <coughs> Landguard. And so we are now going to be making our way to his castle. I believe we are going to be running across some hostilities along the way as we now have killed off their... <coughs> Yeah, this is hostile now, Long Orchard, so we're going to have to fight them off. Oh no, we get a tribute now. Okay, so this is how it works. Okay, so they are now in my... They are now underneath me. Woohoo, yes. Now I also have 717 coins. And how about this, um... These were all under his banner before. Now they're under mine. Gilded Pretzel. Alright. Hire. See if there's any more gossip that we need to listen to. Nope. Same old, same old. Alright. And... I believe this was his... Tower. This was his over here. Yep, that's where I'm going to right now. Then I can put some people in his towers. I can put some people in his stuff. Assault. Oh, that's right, because we have to assault him. Oh, well, I'm doing him pretty good damage. Yep, we're going to go ahead and begin the assault. Oops. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. That's pretty fast. So we got trophies and 10 gold. No one in the garrison. I think I have to hire people to leave in these garrisons, all these towers and stuff now. Okay. These are people that were all his. go after one, wouldn't you? Okay, so we need to heal you. I'm going to take you out here. You need to surrender? He fled. Nine. Okay. Hostile. Character has very little health. Okay, so this is who I'm going to have to fight. We're going to do an assault. Hmm. We've taken some damage. Okay, let me go ahead and save. How badly am I hurt? Not really. Okay. We shall see. And let me see here. Shot at her. Oh, there goes one of mine. One of me already. Hmm, I might not be doing so well here, huh? Let me see. She's got to heal herself, though, too. Um. Okay, let's go up here. He's gone. All right. 
Oh, quit picking on me. All right, who is... 36, 36, 36. All right, you need to heal me here. I think I'm in more danger than... You need to come over here. Hopefully get rid of this one. You got rid of them. Come up here. All right, they surrendered. 32 gold, okay, and trophies. It seems I have done away with Landguard once and forever. His armies are defeated and his castle is mine. Yay! Which means... What does this mean? Okay, it means I have to start pe leaving people there. Okay, so it means I have to hire some people. Oh, I can hire up to seven more people now because I now have a castle. This earns 37 gold. Oh, it costs 37 gold to maintain it, I guess. Is that what it is? Treasury income castle brings in 18. Long orchard, nine. Okay. So I need to go hire some people. Um, am I going the right way? Hire. Oh, these are mercenaries. I don't want mercenaries. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, so we need to heal. Heal all for... Oh, I hate that. Okay, well, let's sell off stuff first. See what we got we can sell. Oh, I got that I can sell. Hmm... I got other stuff here. This I cannot sell. Okay. I don't want to sell that. That's worth some money. That's going to be for somebody somewhere. I, I just know it is. Oops, there's... thought I had more. All right. We got to heal. <sighs> I know, it hurts. So then I gotta I gotta hire some people for um oh, there's more young nobles here. Um okay so I need a recruit hire here. And what is he? He's a bowman. 63, hire him, he won't let me, oh, okay, so I need to leave, at least that's what I'm, I'm thinking that's what we have to do is leave a garrison, otherwise someone can come along and take it, right? Alright, so we're going to leave him here. Alright, now let's see how the map looks. Okay, there are errors now, except for this right there. What is this across the way from us? Oh, the soggy hill? Be well, your grace. Yes, I know. 
These are... I can hire one more healer. Hmm. Do I want another healer or do I want to... But then we're starting them all over, but we need to anyway. If I do anything, it'll probably be another nobleman. Where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to... Alright, well now it's red. Um, now it's green. Alright, so I need to go over here to Grossenhof's, right? Which is... I think it's this way. No, no. I clicked on the map and it clicked up there. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. William Grossenhop. Okay, bid farewell, bid you good day. If you have something to say to my father, he stays in the castle all the time. I would hit the bottle with you, but I must defend our... Okay, so that's not the father. Okay, so. Meeting with Bruno Grossenhop. You again, Corinne. Shall we raise a glass? Um, okay, so what's going on with the coal delivery? The demons. I am sure that the coal the miners obtain are from the very cauldrons of the demons. But the mine is mine. It is mine. It means I steal the gold from demons. That's why they take revenge on me. Cruel creatures, they curse my back. They curse my back and shame to say, bombing on me in the night. Really? So you're having delusions now because you're so drunk? And recently something scary happened there. No sooner had I entered a closet than there appeared a demon's head. So I stopped taking coal from them. I need wine. Maybe they do too. Perhaps it will calm them down, don't you think? Oh, I see. Um, I have to leave now. It seems old Grossenhop has lost his mind completely and it is time to return him to real life. But how should I do it? I must ask some good doctor for advice. All right. It fell barrel. Okay. So this is I need to go talk to Celine again. Cause she is she's like a witch doctor or sorceress, whatever, so um and she's over here. Anybody lurking around that I need to get rid of? Not that I see. So let's talk to her now, see if she has something else to say. So your worship has come, has one of your relatives gotten ill? Not one of my relatives, but an old acquaintance of mine. It seems wine has damaged old Grossenhop. He sees demons everywhere, and those unseen beasts cause obvious losses to the Paulberg family. Do you know how to cure Bruno? A typical case, I must say. Well, there are three ways. The first way is a special potion. I won't tell you the recipe, but three men from Soggy Hill have already forgotten about drinking completely, among other things. Take the jug. The second way is the sermon. Father Eber influences simple men so that they stop drinking for a week or even a month. Where did we see Father Eber? And the third is, well, a little less moral. If you perhaps replace the bottle with a woman, with a woman then it is very likely he'll stay sober for a little while. Replace the bottle with a woman. Okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. So now I probably have that potion. Do I? Didn't she give me a potion? Um. Hmm. Well, I know I didn't do that. Hmm. Potion, potion, five uh, plus melee attack. I don't know what those potions do. I know health. I mean, that makes sense. Alright, okay, let's give you that. Oh, it costs, oh, here it is, 13. Alright. One plus melee attack. I think you're all your... Nope, nope, it isn't. Um, willpower. 
This would go to her. And this is for regeneration. Wow, that's... Let's just give it to him. And we cannot use this. We've got to remember not to use that. You may use that helmet. Not really. Oh, he can. But what does he have? He's got one and one. And this is... Oh, yeah. This, this is his. Okay. Alrighty. Um... So, um, gosh, okay, so the witch lean has told you that Bruno Gossam can be cured by three methods. The first, give him a potion. The second, a priest should give him a sermon from the monastery. Okay, so let's give him the potion first. See if that helps. We need to cure this mind problem. Um, would you like a sip of this lovely stuff, Bruno? What a stinky slush. What a stinky slush. Yep, slush. It is a wonderful fortified liquor extracted from helpful herbs. Drink and trust me, you'll enjoy it. Pew, no way. I drink only the best of monastery wine. And that good hooch at Agatha's? I haven't seen, I haven't been there for years. Drink this muck yourself. Hmm. Oh yeah, report on the victory of Rolangard. Okay. Ha, huh, wonderful news. He won't he won't palm off casks of urn any longer. He was too full of it himself. A toast. Of course you would. I have no time to drink, Bruno. As you wish, but I'll taste one to his demise. You should try some food as well. By the way, you left some things the last time you were here. They are in the corner by the arrow, arrow slit. They are yours and that's it. Don't even try to deny it. I remember you left those things here. Okay. Like, what did he just give me? So the wine didn't help. That is not. Um, use a drink to wash, and now you can use it as you like. Oh, okay. That's, it's a good potion, too. So now I need to go to the priest at the monastery. And what did he give us? Oh, we got some, um, what is this? Medium armor? He has three and two, and this is four and two. Yeah, that's better. Anything else more he can use? Um, Amulet. I think all his... Okay, let's go to him. Can he use this? Yes, he can, because he doesn't have anything. So let's get to him. And how about him? No. Me. Okay, these are health, aren't they? 30 health, 30 health. Oh, this is 50 health. Wow. How much health do I have? Okay, so I'm going to give myself one. And I'm going to give him one. Does he have room for one? Yes, he does. Okay. And nobody else can use these stuff. Hmm. All right. So now I need to go talk to the go to the monastery. Am I going the right way? Yes, because Soggy Hill was over on the west side. Okay. Here we go. This is the only monastery I'm aware of. Okay, shall I give a sermon to anyone? Oh, a worthy deed. But who needs my sermon? 
What? That old drunken drunkard got Grossenhop? I am afraid no eloquence can help his lost soul. But the Savior once said that all it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed. Well, I will pray for a while, and then and then we make for Grossenhop. Okay. So... She can, okay, what's the spiritual power? And that's 54. I think she could use it because she doesn't have anything. Nope. So let's give that to her. Um, okay. And I can hire her still, can't I? Because I can have one more. You know, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to hire a monk. They are pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to spread them out like this. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now i got seven in my entourage. And is there anything that he can he can use? As, yep, he can use that. All right. So is he with me now? Um, Bruno has refused to drink the potion. Now you can... Okay, so is he with me? I don't know. Is he with me? Hmm. Maybe we shall see. Let's go back. <coughs> now he goes off this way, if I remember right. Yes, he does. Okay, there he is. God's... God's a servant, Bruno. I have a serious subject which we must discuss. What do you want, bald windbag? You haven't even gotten started, and I am already tired of you. I warn you, Bruno, it's no good talking to God's servants in such a manner. God's be servant? Is that what bad Agatha calls you when you sell her monastery wine? <laughs> Lies! I would never enter a tavern or sell monastery wine there. Oh, do stop it, Ever. It is well known. I can, ex I can excommunicate you for such slander, Bruno von Grossenhoff. By the way, I don't mean for you to stop selling it. It's so, it is so fine. I am not going to listen to him any longer. While wine is a treacherous liquid, and anyone who takes it is unwise. Those are King Solomon's words, and they are right. I am going from your sinful presence. Okay. Um... Well, so my only option is to get a woman, but where do I get a woman from? Hmm, right? Let me see this hotel. Um, so, attention. If these two methods fail, a woman's attention will probably help. Contestants can be found at Quellberg Tavern. Ah, okay, so I need to go to Quellberg. Quellberg, here we come. All right, so, uh, conversations with the head of the merchants. It is said you have overcome Langard. You need no, you need, you need, you have no need to worry. I have captured his castle, and he took a swim in the river. Though I might have had a hand in pushing him out the tower window. I'm sure we did. Thank God, I hope he hasn't managed to survive. The substance Humboldt von Langard is made of would not sink. Anyways, here is your reward from the merchant guild that are with our heartfelt gratitude. Okay, so I got some more money. Um, okay, at Agatha's Tavern. What are you looking for in this tavern, noble lady? Work? I don't think so. Alas, fair maiden, my old friend Bruno Gossin hop fell in love with wine from loneliness. Will you help to heal him? Fair maiden, you are courteous. And Mary Bruno, you haven't seen him for quite some... We haven't seen him for quite some time. We already miss him. All right, my dear, take me to his castle. Uh, any more gossip? I seriously doubt it. Oh, which, oh, we already know about which Celine, so. Okay, so what do we else have? Did he give us anything other than the, oh, he did. He gave us a garnet. Hmm. So 
so we're gonna go ahead and sell that. Yay! Because it's not good for anything else. Okay. So, let us see. What? Who can we equip? He needs equipped. Um, is there anything that we can buy for him here? Appears not. He needs armor. Okay, he could use this. Because I think I got rid of mine. It's 88. Buy it. That goes to him. Um... How about, oh, he just, we just got that. Okay, how about, um, nothing there. Darn, I wish he could get one of those potions. Knight's Glove. Hmm. That's $322, though. Ah, uh, coins. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Um, yeah, it looks like he's pretty much... Um, what is this? Holy picture of St. George, the Conqueror. Ranged attack, melee attack. Ooh, that's pretty, but for 225? Mmm, this stuff's also expensive, but he has no ambulance. Do I have any ones I can give to him in here? Does this even work for him? I don't think it does. No, it won't. Well, something to think about. Oh, I really should spend it on him because I don't want to lose him right off the bat. All right, I'm going to spend money on him. Let's go. All right, there you go. Okay. So let's go back off to Grossen Grossenhall because I have a feeling we're going to be fighting him. Oh, there she is. I never realized that they're up there in the window. Okay. That has to be the bells from Burs Pressburg. Dear Bruno, what a meeting. We haven't seen each other for quite some time. You again? Go to hell, woman. To your own demons. I know you are in cahoots with them. I saw you with my own eyes. You were riding a demon with horns in Barley Street. Well, he is gone crazy. It wasn't a demon, but the virgin master after two glasses of special wine. But you are right that he is a cockoid. How did you know? So the Virgin Master is a demon himself? Damn it. Although I had suspected him, why does he need the coal? I shall never enter Quolberg again. Well, Bruno. Well, Bruno really has gone insane. I won't help much. Nope, you won't. It seems that none of the methods has turned to be effective. But there should be a solution. I should probably search inside the mine or beside it. Okay. Poor Bruno. The wine has edled you, and my late husband died of alcoholism, and so I do understand when you drink too much and your liver goes, you start hallucinating and seeing things. So that's exactly what happened to him. This is a sign of alcoholism. Dear sir, sir, I'm a woman. Take pity on a poor man. I have lost my job because Grossen Grossenhof has closed down the mine. Spare me a coin, please. Why do you appear so? Why do you appear so? Don't try to show up at the church. They will take you for a demon. Wait a moment. Demon? I think I have an idea. Come along with me and you'll need to keep quiet. I will take you to Grossenhof's castle at night. After I have hidden you from the guard, you have to find Bruno. Then you can persuade him to open the mine again. Um, uh, finally, I get some excitement in life. I'm happy to help and pay him back for my ill fortune. Okay, so that's the whole thing, hmm? There shouldn't be anything in there now. Okay, so... So we need to wait for nightfall. Which, it goes by fast. I think this is his son. Yes, it is. Can we wander up around here while we're waiting? Just to wander and see what's going on? Because, you know, we like to wander, wander, wander. Sometimes you can get into areas you're not... Well, what's this back here? Oh, this is back behind Quilberg. Oh, I see. That's going to make me go all the way around. No, we'll just stop right here. Oop, it's starting to get a little dark. It's 
starting to get a little dark here. I still want to go look at that. Um, come on. I guess I could always click on the clock to make it go fast. But I bet it's been a week now. I could probably start collecting stuff. Um, start time now. All right, it's getting dark. Here goes the bell. All right, let me see if it's dark enough. Great, we have passed by the guards. Now you must make Bruno sign this document. It is written, We demons, for our part, give Grossenhop our permission to take coal from the mine for ten years. Grossenhop, in his turn, will give us a helm full of golden coins. Hmm. And remember, a real demon always demands a signature in blood. Now go to Bruno's chambers. I will be waiting for him in the closet. Oh, I'd love to be there to see what happens. <laughs> Well, it worked. He nearly passed. He nearly pissed his pants at first, but then he signed the pact. This helm is so heavy I can hardly carry it. Cool. So we got that solved. It looks like. So is the mine now open? Oh, come on. I know that's mine. Here we go. All right, so, um, also, okay, so I'm going to go to, uh, it's almost 30 minutes, or it's more than 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode, and when we come back, I am going to go ahead, we're going to be going to Quellberg, report that we have opened up the mine, and I think I'm going to go back and take over his castle, maybe, I don't know, he's, he's a despot, you know, he's drunk. So if you enjoyed this episode, click like, leave a comment, and thank you for watching. Sahara out.